this is Ifi and my friend the big boy and I've been on this series about drill vocals, how to mix drill vocals. I've made like three other videos before now on how to get your equipment, what equipment to buy and how to mix lead rap vocal. And now this is going to be the background vocal, which is coming to an end of the mixing section of the drill rap series. So today I'm going to be showing you how to mix this type of background that 2 chains does. So that happened to be the background for the Tracha trying to get my soul, which is the main rap. If you have not listened to this song before or, or you don't understand what I'm talking about right now, just watch. One of the videos that I published before now. Oh, ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't know. Because this is basically going to be building on that. So let me just get right into it. I've duplicated that sound just so that I can start from the scratch. And uh, this is it. This is my raw vocal here. So the first thing I'll just do is look for that template that I told you guys to download, the one we made last week. And I think the name is Drill Rap Lead or something. I'm gonna search for it in my Ableton Live and come on, all results. So then I drag and drop here the pack. If you don't have this pack, just check the previous video I published. The description has the link. So in here, we are just going to build on this, which is this EQ. We're going to equalize it to make it sound like it's, it's, it's a radio kind of thing, an FM radio. At the same time, not bad. Okay, let me draw that one real quick before you guys get bored of hearing my sound over and over again. And I hope you're doing this along with me because Obviously, I don't want to say my song and my beat for free out there. And I want you to learn it, so you should be doing this along. All we're trying to do right now is just get the stereo effect. When I double click on the meter here, or the graph here is going to bring full screen and vice versa. You see, we already have something. So the next thing is we are going to turn up the drive of this saturation. So this is its control to the macro. Let me leave it at 12.2. The next thing is that we're going to still mess with the macro. Sorry, with the saturator, not with the macro now, but some other buttons that were not controlled with the macro. And this is, I'm going to make the bass low because you know i'm cutting off the bass from the eq so why not just turn down the bass and the frequency that we're going to be using distorted is going to be around here now it sounds serious but it sounds too loud so let me reduce the gain here now the last thing I would like to add is delay, ping pong delay, filter delay, I think there's something like that, yeah. I use multiple doors, so I'm just doing this to make sure everybody can learn along because these are just default plugins. So what, the idea of this is that we're trying to give one delay to the left and another delay to the right. We are going to pan the delays in order to make it realistic and not robotic and not make it match to the same center again. We, we need to give it different frequencies, different timing, different, you know, different amounts. I think this one is already right. So let's reduce this. Let's drop this to the max here. 
and let's do another unique one here reduce it and give it oh no i say reduce don't put four to make it bounce on our beat okay sounds weird I'm just trying to balance things that I was according to my vocal and the other things I had in the mixer before to make sure one side of the panned, um, one side of the delay is not outshining the other one, making it look like it just sounded on one side. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm checking it with this meter here and I can see it's balanced. The next thing now is that I want to add more reverb to it. I think this is something like it. This is it depends on you now. You can just start tweaking things, but I think this this ends. Trying to get muscle, they already lost that war. Up and up and I go where the Lord is my home. Whoa, ooh yeah yeah. They don't know. They can take away my soul. They can only send me home. They trying to get my soul. They already lost that war. Up and up and I go with the love. Boy, ready like accolades. Accolades, boy, ready like accolades. Piled up my accolades. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't know. They can take away my soul. They can only send me home. They trying to get my soul. They already lost that war. Up and up and I go with the love. They can take away my soul, they can only they don't know. They can take away my soul, they can only send me home. I'm war ready. They don't know. So I think I'm satisfied with this result. You can notice that after I finished the basic mixing, then I compared it with the actual song, then I saw that I needed a little bit of more adjustment. So that happens too. So that's all about mixing rap vocals actually before i round up let me show you this last thing that it works too if you want to do something so i want to separate this to my i want to um give you some kind of width delay so now i'm going to use simple delay for this one so i'm going to put a simple delay here first of all turn off the reverb then i'm going to select time for but put this one give it something like something very minimal so obviously it, it gave us more gain so let's just bring it down a little bit so they can only send me home so if that's what you're looking at trying to get that's how to get it that split stereo effect but i don't want it for this particular sound because i'm using that radio effect i don't i don't feel like adding radio effects and a stereo effect it's kind of like too much so i just like to turn it down like this turn it off and if i want to add the split effect then i make sure i turn off the eq and probably even turn off the saturator like give it a decent 
volume reduce it here but i don't want to go through all that right now let me let me try it out again i feel like it's too robotic they don't know they can take away my soul they can only send me home they're trying to get my scare they don't know they can take away my soul they can only send me home they're trying to get my soul they already lost that so that's another option you have but i'm just gonna return to the default here and get back to my eq and my drive because i like that to change the effects on this particular song on drill song i feel like it needs this so without further ado i'm proud of what i just did and i hope you are too i hope you're there following along this tutorial is in series and if you like what you just saw kindly subscribe and on the next video i'll be showing you how to release your song what platform to use to release your song where to release your songs and what to do when you release your songs like drop a comment so that the algorithm will recommend this to more people because i'm trying to help as many, many people as possible and i think this video is really really helpful because i've never seen anyone mix a whole drill song vocal without using a third party plugin before so this is the first of its kind and in the next video i'll be showing you the service i use in releasing it so please stick around and peace out